Welcome to day number eight. Welcome to day number eight as we proceed with our as we proceed. As we proceed with our retreat for, for this time, for this year. Okay, the key points for day eight morning says, um, success is neither magical nor mysterious. Success is neither magical nor mysterious right and this is very important for people to understand because one of the most funny beliefs that people have is or some people feel like they are going to wake up one morning and be successful or you see people avoiding the things they are supposed to do but at the same time expecting to be successful which is not like that success is not magical is not mysterious success is predictable success is a process there are certain fundamentals there are certain principles there are certain virtues that you must put to work you must become resourceful with these fundamentals and principles before you can see success. So success is the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals of living. That is why I was reading a research and the person said, if you look at a successful person, and you copy and paste what that person is doing, you have a 90% chance of becoming as successful as that person. If you copy how the person thinks, how the person behaves, how the person acts, the things that the person does, etc., you may actually become as successful as that person. So success is the natural consequence of consistently applying basic fundamentals. Right from day one up to today, we have been teaching these fundamentals of success. Even this point of today that success is not magical nor mysterious, but success is a process, is one of the fundamentals of success. So it means that sometimes you may be doing things consistently. Like, for like example, like yesterday, we were teaching about the power of consistently improving and building value. And I said that one thing that can quickly change your economic power or your financial power is the consistency you put in in building your value. Now, let me tell you how success is a process. Sometimes, you may be reading books and taking courses and perfecting your skill, and you may not be seeing the immediate effect. But it doesn't mean that you are not becoming successful. But the, the difference is you are going through the process and you are respecting the fundamental to become successful. So you may be listening to me right now, and maybe you have been doing you have been expecting certain things to happen and you may be feeling discouraged that, hey, but you know, my life is not this way. No, you are becoming, you, you, you may still be in the process of becoming and you need to keep up with that process until you fully become and begin to manifest that which you desire. Personally, for me, this is this my, this always my mindset right? This is always my mindset. Where, let me, let me show you something. Where is that? Uh, I was showing somebody something today. 
was it an article that I wrote and posted on Facebook? I was, was something about character. I'll, I'll say it later. Now, so I, I was talking about the, the power of consistently building the right character. Because until you evolve, as far as your character is concerned, you will not be able to actually become successful. And you will not be able to help so many people. You know, one of the most beautiful things about the process of becoming is that you learn a lot of things. You learn a lot of relevant things that you can help and serve so many people who can in turn even pay you or you create some impact for them. That, that's one beautiful thing about going through the process. Like sometimes, personally for me, people come to me for different reasons, like business, career, money, uh, uh, um, international stuff, international trips, relocating to different countries, all of that. And these are things that nobody taught me. I learned these things in my process of becoming who I want to be. You see, so success is not mysterious, it's not magical, but it is, it is, it takes your ability to implement the fundamentals. And I use the word basic fundamentals intentionally because there are some basic fundamentals that until you are good with them, like for example, the basic fundamentals of having the right mindset, the basic fundamentals of having the right character and attitude, the basic fundamental of having the foundational knowledge in your field or in whatever you want to become successful at. These are things that you need to become good at or excellent at these things. So what are the basic fundamentals of success that you know? And of course, if you have been in Peak Performance Academy for the last one year or even six months, there are many things that I teach every day through write-ups and the sessions that we have. And all of these things keep unraveling the different life fundamentals or success fundamentals that you need to know and practice. List five of them and ask yourself the question, are you consistently taking the right actions as far as these fundamentals are concerned? All right, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna give a, a, a quick exercise. Many of you here in the community and some of you have been following me for at least six months, one year, some, some of you have been in my community for five years or so. I want you to write two top success fundamentals that you have learned from me that you're practicing every day. Or let me not say every day that you are practicing consistently. Just two. Type in the chat box. Type two. I will read as many as I can. But type two success fundamentals that you have learned from me as being a member of PPA and you are practicing consistently. And when you are practicing something, it means that you have been convicted with that thing. You, you, you heard it. You learn it. You understood it and you are convicted that if you practice this, it's going to help you. Let's go. Okay. Miss Pass says, writing down goals. Okay. As I said, two. So write two in one block. Don't write like, uh, you know, write two in one block. Write, write professionally. <laughs> right. Okay. Writing down goals. Good. Um, Flavin says, waking up early. Yes. Um, Sasama says, consistency and faithfulness. Okay. Uh, goal setting and early morning rising, all right? Goal setting and consistent actions, reading every day and consistency, consistency and self-discipline, reading, uh, reading habits in my industry and setting goals, that is Elvis. Um, Clifford says to be consistent at something and to always be optimistic. Uh, my MoBB says acquisition of knowledge through reading of books and goal setting, Tenkar says, I get up now at 3 a.m. every morning and I am very consistent in my business and career. Good. Theophilus says, managing time and self-discipline. Mervis says, diligence and reading every day. Stephanie says, being consistent and accountable. Um, uh, um, Lange says, honesty and the discipline. Solange says, reading every day and being and having a positive mindset. Good. That's good. You see? These are good. And all of these are very 
important uh, success fundamentals that it is your responsibility to know them and uh, to practice. Okay, good. Awesome. So many great points still coming. Good. Let's proceed. Day eight evening. One of my favorites. Day eight evening. One of my favorites. There's a YouTube video on my YouTube channel titled How to Create a Success Atmosphere. If you have never listened, I think that video now has more than 1,000 views. That's how impactful it is. And anybody, anybody, anytime somebody listens to that video, they always get my number from the video and WhatsApp me. How to create, I think it's just a 10 minute video, how to create a successful, a success atmosphere. There is no success without an atmosphere. For the eighth evening, success comes to people who create an atmosphere for it. Success comes to people who create an atmosphere for it. I want to ask you a question. You, are, you desire success, right? Have you created the atmosphere that can welcome the success? Have you created? Because success, you know, success is an outcome of something. And one of those fundamental things that you need to create around you for success to happen to you is the atmosphere. That's what I always say. You don't chase after success. You become the person who attracts the success. You become it. You become the person who attracts the success. Okay? And it is very important for you to understand that as, as a professional, as an entrepreneur, you need to know how to create a success atmosphere, and you need to know how to maintain this success atmosphere. This is one of my life principles I don't play with. I intentionally make sure that I maintain. Now I'm in a place of maintaining. I'm consistently maintaining. Let me tell you, getting to the top may be easy, but staying at the top may be difficult. One of the best ways to avoid to say one day that I used to be this. People say, oh, I used to be this. I used to, be, I used to have money. I used to have a very good career. I used to have a very good business. I used to be influential. I used to, I used to. If you want to avoid, I used to. You want to avoid the life of growing up and then falling deep and never rising. Learn how to create and then maintain a successful atmosphere or the atmosphere for success. I will remember to share that video. I'll look for that video and share in the group. But let me quickly run over, over some few things. I mean, not go deep like I went deep in that video. Number one, one of the first things that you need to create a success atmosphere is your mindset. You need to shift your mindset. You need to have a positive, optimistic, possibility seeing mindset. You understand? That's the first thing you need. You need to make sure that you alter your mindset. Don't let you don't let don't think like your environment. One of the best ways to see that your mindset has changed is to check how your mindset think. Do you still think like an environment? Do you still think like majority of the people around you? If yes, then your mindset is not changing. If no, then something is happening within you. Okay, number two, seek knowledge and apply the knowledge or deploy the knowledge. That's the second way to create an atmosphere for success. Seek the knowledge, seek relevant knowledge. Seek knowledge in the area where you desire success and do not only seek the knowledge, but do what? Deploy the knowledge apply the knowledge okay apply the knowledge number three be opportunity driven yes you need to be opportunity driven where you see that you can you, you, you can find opportunity be there like for example you can attend events because you know that when you attend events there are two principal opportunities number one you will learn something new no, number two you will expand your network that's opportunity there is no way you can create a success atmosphere without having the attitude of being opportunity, opportunistic in a good way, opportunity-driven. 
right? And another and big part of being opportunity driven is that you have the mindset where you see opportunities even in a difficult situation. You see opportunity even in a challenge. You start a business and it fails. You don't just see on the failure, you take your pen, you take your journal, and you begin to take down notes and begin to write, oh, this is where I failed. This is where I messed up. These are the things I did well. This is how I'll do better next time. You, you have this opportunity-driven mindset, okay? So you don't really, you, when you see, you are willing to take risks because of the opportunities that you see. The fourth way to create the atmosphere for success is for you to intentionally shift your network, intentionally audit your network. There is no way you can create a success atmosphere without having the right people around you. I have taught you guys a lot deep things about intentionally building the right network and how to do it. You cannot have the right success atmosphere around you when you keep keeping the wrong people around you. Why? Because association determines assimilation. As long as you are equally yoked with the wrong people, you will have difficulties maintaining the right success atmosphere. And of course, the last one is intentionally creates the right environment. And the right environment includes also people. The right environment can include the things you see around you. You can start with your room where you are, like your room right now. What is around your room that can inspire success? It could be books. There are some books I, I've read. I always keep them just to see the title. When I see the titles, it reminds me of something. As long as my mind is consuming that, I hardly play music. Around me is always audio books. Audio books. If I'm, if I'm taking a shower, audio books. I'm dressing up with an audio book play, playing. I am as, any, as long as my ears can lift anything as an audio book is playing. I am writing something, an audio book. There's always an audio, there's always information entering my mind that is focused on creation, right? You can, uh, what's another way? You know, just, just make sure that your environment attracts success and intentionally leave environments that don't, cannot create a success environment. What I do in a beer parlor, people are sitting, drinking beer, and talking trash and nonsense and making noise, it doesn't make sense, okay? So having the right environment also means you know how to move yourself outside of the wrong environment. These are some things that you can go through to create the right success atmosphere. As I said, go to my YouTube channel and search for how to create a success um, atmosphere. You do see a, a 10 minute video there that teach more deep things about this, okay? So, question for you. Have you created the right atmosphere for success around your life? Let's do, a, let, let's do some rating. I want you to rate the success atmosphere around you right now on, on 100%. How will you rate your success atmosphere on 100%? If, I, if I'm to rate mine right now, I'll rate mine around, around 85 Yes, mine is around 85. There are certain things that I'm not yet, I don't yet have around me that I want to have. So mine is around 85. Yes, Teofilo says 50%. Okay, improving. Mispa says 70%. 35, all of that. Okay, good. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Good. Now, let me give you one of. You know, when anytime I use numbers, I, will, I always give you the outcomes of numbers. Okay. And if you have, if you have written 60 and above, one of the things that should happen around your life is anybody who has a success atmosphere that you have written yourself 60% and above, one of the things that you should never go through because you have that kind of a success atmosphere. You, are, you can never be stranded anywhere. Yes, that's the one thing a, success, a good success atmosphere can give you. You can never be stranded financially. 
you can just you can never be stranded. Let's say you don't have a job now, you can hardly be stranded. You cannot stay in the job market for long because let's say they, they sack you today and you have written 50% above because of the kind of success and muscle you have created. If they sack you today, you can get a job next week or you can create something for yourself and do and make money next week. The second, another way is if you, if you have written, let's say 70 and above also, it means you have an atmosphere that is contagious. If somebody comes around you within a short time, they, they will contact something from you that will like, I, I just like the way you think. I, I like the way you talk. I, li I, like the, I like the way you look at things. I, I like the way you do your things. You get the, con you get the concepts. Yes, you have co your atmosphere is contagious. You can have somebody can just look at your life and they can be transformed. They would like to replicate something. It's, it's so visible. The aura around you is so different. Just the way your things are positioned is so different. You get the concept? Yes, because success atmosphere, they, 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 there are products. There are products that uh, 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 um, prove that you have there. Even you, if you look at that, there are many, many of you right now, if you look at your life two years ago, and look at where you are today. There are things that you do today that you could not do two years ago. The, the, one of the biggest things that have affected you today is the atmosphere that you command around you now. It's the kind of success atmosphere that you have built around you. And the funny thing, be careful, the funny thing about success atmosphere is it can drop. That, remember I use the word maintaining. It can drop. It can drop. So. If, if, if you are not building yourself, remember we spoke about mindset. If you are not building yourself, it can drop. If you are not changing, like for example, I was talking to one of my uh, one of my clients. I advised him to relocate from his quarter and go to a quarter where they consider that rich people are there. Do you know why? There are one of the one of the most important elements in the success atmosphere is the people that the the new people you keep meeting. So if you keep on mingling around the same people for so long, year in, year out, it, it's going to be negative with your success atmosphere. So what happens? For you to keep on scaling your success atmosphere, because the network around you is very critical with your success atmosphere, you need to intentionally push yourself and be in places and go to places or live in environments where you keep meeting people that can keep stretching your success atmosphere. If two years ago you were mingling around, mingling around only with students, maybe now you're mingling around with, with some young CEOs, maybe in the next two years, step it up. Why not start thinking of meeting senators and ministers and parliamentarians and top international and multinational CEOs? You got a point. You need, to, you need to be conscious about that because you need that to keep scaling your success atmosphere. It's the same with knowledge. If you stay with your advanced level, uh, A levels, and all of that is going to have some limitations around your success atmosphere. But if you keep scaling and keep getting more certifications, I mean, relevant certification, I'm not talking about those, those funny, funny online stuff that people are doing when their organizations are not certified or accredited. That's different. That one you do, you do for knowledge. But remember, we're, we're still in a set whereby the right knowledge and the right certification is very important. You see? So, you keep doing those things because you are not just doing because you know that those things play a key role. You see, success is, is, is a whole ecosystem. And when you understand these things, life becomes so effortless to you, very effortless. Okay, so be very conscious about your success atmosphere and intentionally take actions. Intentionally take actions to scale it. Scale it. Scale your mindset, scale your character, scale where you go, scale the things you learn, scale your qualifications if you can, scale those things, relocate from your old quarter. Don't be in the same quarter where everybody, just environment, people are, people are not inspiring you. Everybody is trekking your quarter. Be in a quarter, people drive nice cars. We're going to challenge you to buy a good car. <laughs> you get the concept, right? Yeah. So it's... um. And of course, it's not just about that, but just being there now, you have good neighbors. 
You never know. Sometimes they, you, you, they, they'll invite me for, for a birthday party, for, for a wedding, for a barbecue, for something. And that's how you, you keep building the right relationships. I keep meeting the new people that can stretch you forward and you rise. The, one of the fastest ladders to the top are the people that you meet who are relevant, who can recognize the value you carry and be willing to work with you. Okay. All right, everybody, questions for me? as we round up today's session. Questions? Any questions for me? Okay, there are no questions. So as you go out today, as you meditate today, as you prepare for next year, think carefully about, number one, think carefully about your willingness to go through the process. Know that the people have gone ahead of you. They did not get them magically or mysteriously. That's why it's good when you admire people, know their stories. I like to read, I like to read how people got to where they are because it challenged me. I want to know the things that they did to get there. So enjoy your process, love your process, be willing to go through the process. And of course, master the basic fundamentals to success. And of course, the evening session talks about what? Intentionally create your success atmosphere. And I listed the things that you should be conscious about. And I said, do not only create, you need to start maintaining it and then growing it. So success atmosphere is in three levels. When you create it, you maintain it and you grow it. If you create it without maintaining, it is not going to help you. And if you maintain without growing, you're going to remain in the same place forever and ever. So you need to create it, you maintain it, and you do what? And then you grow it. And when you do that, trust me, there is, I don't, I don't care where, I always say something funny. I always say this. See, if God could take me from Kumbu to the places I've gone, 20 countries plus places I've entered, he can do it for anybody. And I want to tell you, God, that's what I, I now understand why God, you know, God talks a lot in the Bible. The Bible talks a lot about the spirit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's one of, it's the, 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 in the kingdom of God, in the spiritual realm, knowledge is called light. Light. It's, it's light. You understand? So, and it's different when it's backed by God. Anything can happen. Me, I believe the future is endless for me. Very endless. I'm going to explore. I'm going to push because these secrets are for you to use them and win. Right? All right, everybody. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow, same time. And remember again, this is a retreat. It's just about 20% of the work. Make sure that every day you're praying intentionally about your next year and you're writing down, taking down notes, meditating, and writing down um, the things, how you want your next year to be like. This is always one of the best things that you can do for yourself, All right? God bless you. Take care. Remember, put Jesus Christ first. Yes.